I'm gonna try to give him the black water. What is this stuff, man? I'm going to get some stuff from ShopRite. My wife wants to make me some cookies. She made some yesterday with her sister and the kids. And, oh crap, oh, that's when I was doing the ink. Did I have anything on my face? Oh no. But they finished them all. They couldn't even leave me one single cookie, so she's gonna remake the whole batch. And I gotta go get something very special. It's gonna be, I have to get flour, Snickers, and chocolate chips. So you can imagine what that's gonna be like if you didn't get Snickers for cookies. I'm really, really tired. Stayed up with my brother last night ever for the past like three days until like 5 a.m. You know, Ryan has been so cranky. It's three months now. Crap, another cop, man. What's with these goddamn cops? Man? Shopite is the worst. People fight over parking all the time. So. And you're gonna be walking away. You're not walking closer. Oh, here's something right here. Nice. Thank you guys. Aisle 16. Ooh, pancake. Pancakes. Pancake mix. Oh, here's the flour. Uh, Shopite brand. Yeah, let's just stick with Shopite brand. Screw that. Buck 99. Hell yeah. Let's see what else. Need to get some chocolate chips. Nestle. Hello? Yeah, my hey. Um, you just want you, the regular, oh. sh the shit regular shop right flour? Um, yeah. And how big do you want the Nestle chips? Do you want the big bag or the small bag? There's well, a, how much is the big bag? Um, four ninety nine. Um, yeah, get And Snickers, regular Snickers? Yeah, no, the small ones, the fun size ones. Sorry. Right. Okay, bye. Of course, I have to get me some Kit Kats. Oh, that's it. God, I hate shopping. I only got four items and I still hate it. You hate it when they do this override thing? Override, override. You have to call the manager. I mean, just give your employees the, the, the responsibility. You know, you don't trust them. One penny over. Override, you gotta wait half an hour to get the manager. God, when I get some money, I'm gonna hire someone to go shopping for me. I knew you forgot. What, you forgot something? I forgot to tell you to get sourdough. Oh my God, I asked you. No. So it doesn't matter if I ask you, you're just gonna forget. I, I have a bad memory. Maybe Why don't you just write it down? I should have. So you're going to make these crazy cookies? Do you know what it involves? Well, I guess Snickers. There's this woman um, made Snickers cookies, and she's like, oh, what are Snickers cookies? She's like, oh, well, you just take a Snickers bar and you put it inside a chocolate chip cookie. A whole Snickers in one cookie? No, the, not the whole Snickers. You didn't get the whole Snickers, did you? You're not going to say that after you have them. Hey, baby. You going to eat with us? You going to eat with us? Who else loves soup? I love soup. And dates. And rice. And chicken. And I don't know what that is, but... Stew. Stew? Is that what it's called? It's called masaka. Masaka. In Arabic. And then some beautiful letters. Salad. And then a cat on the table with us eating. Hey, Kinsey Binzy. Hey, say hi. Today we're talking about a really interesting topic with uh, my students. About like surveillance technology and how that... There's technology nowadays where, you know, there's cameras everywhere and there's things like facial recognition. And there's even, there are even like apps that can actually run on the video camera and automatically detect patterns of behavior. Like, so if you, if it looks like you're doing something abnormal, it will automatically, without someone even watching, without a physical person watching, it will automatically detect abnormal behavior. What's abnormal behavior? I don't know. <laughs> like picking your nose, things like that. <laughs> no, it's not picking your nose, but you know, if you look like you're gonna come do a crime. You know, so we were talking about the effects of those kind of things on our society, on our privacy. And this is coming from me, right, where I'm actually doing like a public documentary on my life. You know, but what about people who don't want to necessarily have all their you know all their stuff out there i don't think you're gonna we're living in an age where you you even have a choice unfortunately i think that we're living in a time period where everything is going to be public and you really don't have a choice as to whether you want to be private which is kind of sad i mean, you know there's got to be a way to control your your own privacy your own you know and the, I mean, the question became in the article was is privacy a privilege or a right? And that's something you have to ask, we have to ask ourselves. Are you entitled to privacy or is it something that you're given and it could be taken away from you? Which is kind of scary because you would think that you're entitled, but 
how far can someone check you? And what happens when the software is wrong? One of my students was telling me that she used an iPhone app, which was kind of supposed to act like um, like a camera to help you back up and tell you how much space you have. It was wrong and she had an accident. She actually used it for the first time and she had an accident. We rely on technology so much. It's fine we use it, but at the same time we rely on it too much. And the problem is what happens when the government relies on software and it's wrong. And now it's affecting someone's life and it's affecting whether they go to jail or not. So. It's, what do you guys think? I mean, is surveillance technology... Oh, ooh, there's a camera over there. Look out. No, there's no camera. Oh, my God, wait. In the traffic light, there's a camera. You really got to stay on your toes. Everything is... Nothing is private. Anything you do, someone can find out about it. Oh, there's a guy jogging over here. It's pretty cool. Why is he looking at me? I don't know. But maybe it's because I was looking at him. So he's jogging over there. And I'm over here driving. I don't know why I'm driving. I just have to drive. Who has to drive? I wish we all could walk so we stop getting fat. But we can't. We have to drive, of course. We have to drive to work. I wish I could walk to work. I so do. No, I don't. I'm just kidding. I'll never walk to work in my life. No, seriously. Like, if I could walk to work, it'd be so awesome. One of the Marshalls just looking for pants. Pretty cool new thing with Marshalls. Awesome. Look at this. Possibly, definitely, tomorrow. I like how there's no never. What do you guys think of the Kool-Aid shirt? <laughs> Crap, it actually says Kool-Aid. Oh man, I don't know if I could do that. It's like where's Waldo in Purple Land. So just finished going to the Marshalls. Actually, found, I, end, I ended up uh, finding a couple of good things actually. Dude, they say the economy's all messed up. It's freaking like 11 a.m. There's like 50 people online. Uh, it's unbelievable. But there was 50 people online, but there were freaking two people on the register. That's how you know the economy's bad. When there's 50,000 consumers, and two employees. They don't want to hire people. You know, it sucks. It's kind of annoying because the kid inside just, you know, I asked him, did you take off the those white thingies, you know, the things that, the sensors that they come off? He's like, yeah, I'm taking them off right now. You know? And I'm like, I was going to say, like, yeah, because, you know, sometimes they forget. Let me turn that off. They're like, yeah, sometimes they forget, right? So, and he's just like, give me the attitude because I'm asking him if he takes them off. Meanwhile, while I'm paying, a lady comes and gives back her clothes because he apparently forgot to take them off. Comment if anyone has ever forgot those white sensors on your clothes because it's so damn annoying, especially when you leave the place and you can't wear it. Imagine if you're going to a wedding and you're just bored and got this white sensor. So everywhere you go, once you walk into the wedding, it beeps. Like, beep, beep. All right, guys, see you later. I'm so tired. Why is it so hot in Jersey? Let me turn on the air condition. Hey, baby, you know you have? Your baby. What are you just even have? I can take care of him. He's supposed to sleep at 12. Baby. <laughs> Is he looking? He's looking left, right? Baby, I am. Baby. <laughs> you didn't hear this morning making noises? No. It was right before you woke up. Really? What time do you wake up? He woke up at 5.30, babe. What time do you want him to wake up? At least 7. What time did you wake up yesterday when I, when I took care of him? At like 6.30, 6.30? He won't sleep. See yourself? You wanna see yourself? Don't you, you wanna see yourself so kids you can... <laughs> oh yeah. Stop kissing. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, I knew it. He threw up? A little bit. I had a feeling. I had a feeling he didn't look good. Even though he didn't eat, he ate like a long time ago. I had to change him anyway. He's a, he's not good today. I don't know why. He's starting off on the wrong foot. <laughs> <laughs> the viewed. How do you make bubbles? How do you make bubbles when you when you spit up? He spits up. He always he always laughs. He'll kick you out of nowhere, I'm telling you. You love your mommy? Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to eat? Yeah. Let's do this. Look at 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 this. Okay. <laughs> like 
tried to burp him and it worked a little bit. He started to calm down, started to smile.